Company. Mm -hmm. First tonight, we have a developing situation in Terre Haute. Uh, law enforcement officers have a home in Terre Haute surrounded. They've been there for several hours this afternoon. That's right. Our Zach Stidham has been following the situation and has the latest. Zach, what can you tell us? Yeah, sure. uh, thanks, Mike and Dana. Shortly after noon today, there was a heavy police presence here on the north on North uh, 42nd Street in Terre Haute. Uh, as you can see behind me, there are still uh, some some a couple police cars behind me. However, uh, that, this image doesn't really do it justice. As just about 30 minutes ago, there was over 20. Uh, law enforcement vehicles, including the SWAT team, paramedics, uh, Vigo County Sheriff's Office, and Terre Haute Police Department. Uh, and now all afternoon we watched as officers protected this scene is what we now know as a standoff with an armed individual. The standoff began after a shooting at the home, and just a few moments ago we got an update from Terre Haute Police Spokesman Justin Sears. We're going to tie everything up. Uh, we're going to make sure we get good statements from all the witnesses and victims and follow up with that, more thorough statements, uh, maybe interview the suspect that is in custody. And uh, any evidence that may need to be gathered or collected, we'll do that. And we'll make sure that the rightful people are supposed to be in the residence and make notifications of however we need to do that. So it'll be an ongoing thing with the detectives for the next couple days. Uh, and then charges, we'll release charges as the investigation follows through. Yeah, this was obviously a very tense situation today. Uh, luckily, uh, no one was hurt, and we were informed that the suspect is in custody. We will have more information on this and updates on air and both on the website, mywabashvalley.com. Back to you, Mike and Dana. All right. Thanks so much, Zach.